Looting. Such a unique and complex thing in the frontier. How's it going everybody? My name is Killer743 and welcome back! To another Death Frontier video. Today I just want to discuss about one of the things that I'm known for in the Death Frontier community and that is looting. Now let's go back to a little bit of history. Back then in 2010-11 I looted a spiker and well that kicked off my career in this Death Frontier community and honestly looting back then felt more simpler. I don't know. I don't know if I'm just you know make, being a little weird or I'm just overthinking things. I'm pretty much I pretty much I am sure that I'm overthinking things but nowadays looting just isn't fun anymore and it's honestly a huge waste of time now that i think about it because i mean if you guys are like anything in like in the real world if you know how to flip an item so basically you buy it for 10 and you sell it for 20 you start making more profit in the man that's looting you know ammo and weapons and epics and loots because usually when you loot a legendary item for some godforsaken reason you will not be able to loot anything of high quality until like a week or i don't know if you loot for hours and hours on end it was just weird. I mean, this is a good example. There was a day where I basically looted an iron sight and a hammerhead and, a, and like a, a greyhawk all in the span of three days, right? I was like, wow, what a terrific week, yo. It's been three days nonstop, just made up around five, six mil. And then all of a sudden, for a whole straight month, all I could loot was epics, elites, and honestly, I don't know. Maybe it's just Admin saying, whoa, Killer, you gotta calm down, man. You're making too many good videos. I gotta calm you down and make you work for it. So. <laughs> Again, maybe it was just me or maybe it's just, you know, it's just how it is in this Death Frontier community or the Death Frontier game. Because honestly, that's why I slowly but surely began to stop uploading looted videos. I mean, I know many people told me that because of me, they got inspired to go out there and loot for hours on end. But I mean, I would do the same, but back when I wasn't really too focused on other things. Now that I am, you know, just more dedicated to other things and just looting a Death Frontier... I kind of find I kind of find looting such a big waste of time. And again, don't get me wrong, there are people out there that loot for like like an hour straight and they find an elite, an epic, or a legendary even. But then there are people like me who loot something amazing, but it took about a week or two weeks or three weeks of looting to finally show you guys what I have finally looted. And again, reusing the same thing like, oh wow, I found an alpha bull. Oh wow, I found a, gr uh, a grinder. Oh wow, I found a steel ninety. You know, and the only way that I could actually find clips was just to basically go out there and kill the damn boss for it. I mean. That goes to show you that looting really isn't a reliable way of income as to why i understand now why you know there's so many people out there that are begging for money i mean not that i condone it i mean i really always advise people to just go out there and try to find a way to make your own money you know so you don't have to go out there and humiliate yourself with other players like oh yeah i'm a level 10 i need money please donate whatever you have and you freaking message the person like eighty thousand times before the first person finally says yo i'm gonna block you because you're being kind of annoying now you know but you know, I kind of understand of why these people are now, you know, kind of uh, begging most of the time. So, my advice to you guys is to honestly find a different way of making money. And that, I mean, the only way or other way to make money is I is just merching. I mean, merching is one of the most popular ways to make money in any survival game. You buy a weapon for cheap and you sell it for more if you can. Sometimes it's, it's a big risk. For example, the Vulcan back then, it was worth like 2 million, 5 million, I can't remember, but... It was, it was a rather expensive weapon back then, and all of a sudden, you know, the Corpse Destroyer came out, and the Vulcan went, went from 5 mil to, like, what, to what it is now, 200k, 100k, I don't know what the, I don't know what it is in the market. But if you guys manage to actually dominate this skill and actually hone this, you know, hone the, the skill you have, you know, acquired through uh, Death Frontier, I mean, it works in any other survival game as well, you know. Get good at merching, get good at, you know, being an entrepreneur in a game, and in real life, it works for as well, you know, sell, buy something for cheap and sell it for more. And if you get good at that, basically you'll be one rich piece of crap in the end of the year. I mean, <laughs> and here I am looting my ass off and you've basically made $1 million in Death Frontier in, a, in the span of a month because you just know how to make money. And again, again guys, I know I just rambled on for a bit, but it's my two cents. I mean, I made a video about this, about why lo looting is so weird. Back in the day, it got like 11,000 views. I, you know, if you guys want to check that out, it's pretty cool, like a three minute video. But yeah, guys. Uh, this is Killer Sam for three signing off, and honestly, I might do a face review very soon. Hope you guys, I hope I can see you guys out there, and well, see you guys very soon. Bye.